Welcome to a recording for CO275. This recording is going to help us uh, look up API documentation so that we can uh, figure out ahead of time what are the available tools that we have inside of our code. So to do that, please uh, go to Google and then uh, type in Titanium Docs. And the very first uh, result uh, is going to be docs.accelerator.com. So let's go ahead and go there. This is uh, a system which allows us to uh, take a closer look at the API docs. So we'll go ahead and scroll down under Get Started to read the API docs. And there it is. Notice that we have uh, the API uh, uh, divided by the different containers. And we've been working with uh, the view, which is uh, down here. Let's see. Uh, where is it? The, uh, there it is, Titanium View and the button. So let's look at the Titanium UI button. Here is the API doc, which tells us uh, a lot of details about how those buttons might behave on different platforms. Uh, it also goes down to give us uh, an example how to create a button. Uh, and here is an example that we used in the previous video where we set the title, the top height, the width, and then at, a, at an event, the listener, with an anonymous function. Uh, and instead of creating an alert box, in this um, example, we are using titaniumapi.info, which is basically a function that, uh, or a method that allows us to display certain elements into the console window. Okay, so if I was to uh, go back to our development studio, uh, down here, you see these info sections? Well, those are uh, just lines that the developer can see. And if I was to say something like titanium.api.info, um, the go down button was pressed. Okay then whenever the button is pressed, a line will show up at the, at the bottom. This is a fairly useful uh, echo debugging type system that allows you to, uh, behind the scenes, uh, in, the, in the development stage, uh, go ahead and uh, display additional lines of code. You can see right here, the go down button was pressed. Okay, so that's what Titanium API Info is, but the same principle of adding a, an event listener and then doing something when the actual uh, event is fired. So what are the events that the button can produce? Well, look right here under events. We have a click, we have a double click, double tap, long click, pinch, all the uh, mobile uh, events that can be generated. Now some of the events may not be available on the iPhone and some events may not be, may not be available on the Android. So uh, you might need to um, uh, perhaps uh, create an if statement somewhere in your code where you check for what phone is executing your phone and do certain things on the Android and only certain things on the iPhone depending on what the platforms actually make uh, available. And now we have different properties that um, the button can uh, can utilize. Uh, so these uh, uh, docs here are very very useful. Uh, let's see, uh, a part of these uh, documents is not just uh, the the API, uh, but if we go back to to home, uh, let's just go to uh, get up to speed guide. Uh, there's a whole set of uh, installation information. Uh, there's even uh, uh, a set of tutorials um, as well as a set of videos so a very very useful uh, website uh, but especially for the API as we're building our apps we definitely want to be able to see uh, the examples we want to be able to see um, what are the options for the specific object so thank you very much and uh, in this short video I just showed you how to access the documentation for the uh, application programming interface for Titanium.